What is going on, YouTube? DJ Adrian Official. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you get notified every single time I make a video, a short, or anything that pops up in my channel. Uh, I appreciate all the subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. In this video, we're going to talk about hard drives and Serato DJ Pro. You're probably pulling your hairs out or your lack of hairs for that matter. Uh, I'm sure that you are going through it. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to save your crates and how to restore your hard drive from losing all of those files, all of those precious music, videos, everything you got in there. And I'm going to show you what you got to do so that doesn't happen to you again. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to identify why you lost the files. Did you hit delete? Are they not loading? Did the system crash? Did the hard drive accidentally disconnect? Maybe you bumped it and the cable got loose. So identify why you lost your crate. Now, one of the things I like to do is I like to leave my hard drive placed completely flat right next to my laptop. Do not move it. Do not adjust it. Do not put a, a, a longer cable on the hard drive and stick it into your flight case. That's going to cause motion movement. You want to have the hard drive connected directly to the laptop with the shortest cable possible. Do not buy one of those five footers or six foot cables because that's going to cause you more and more problems. All right, let's talk about backup for a second. Prevention is better than the cure. Get a backup and backup the backup. And if you have another backup, backup the backup to the backup. Yeah, three hard drives. I just bought one. Actually, look, I just got my hands on one, another one. This is the, the Crucial uh, version X6 portable SSD drive. This is a four terabyte. I just got my hands on this one. Literally got it on Amazon yesterday, okay? I'm gonna back this up and back up the backup to the backup. So now I have three hard drives just to make sure that this does not happen to me ever again. Drop your information in the comments. Let me know what you went through. I know I was sweating bullets. I had to go to the bathroom. I don't know how many times I was stressed out. The rest of my event, I had three hours left in the event and I had to use my Spotify. It was the most frustrating thing that I could have ever experienced. All right, so before we go crazy and we start looking into a bunch of other complicated stuff, let's go through the basics. The basics is, is check your recycle bin. You probably deleted your file or it's in the recycle bin. If there's anything in the recycle bin that you um, deleted recently, filter it out by date and you'll see it in there. If you lost your crate and it's in there, all you have to do is click on it and restore and it'll send it back to where it came from. Number two, search for the crates. Use the search function on your computer to look for the lost crates. Make sure to search for the specific crate names or file types associated with the Serato crates. Number three, restore the crates from the backup. It's always a good practice to regularly backup your library to prevent data loss. Okay, number four, Serato DJ software has a feature to repair the database. So open Serato, go to the files panel, click on the rescan ID three tags option, now, this may help Serato rediscover your crates. Okay, what happened to me was my Mac was not giving access to Serato to read my files in my hard drive. Now, this is a known issue. I had to search it on Serato support. It's a known issue in the Mac OS 10.15 Catalina Mac OS 11 Big Sur, Mac OS 12 Monterey, and Mac OS 13 Ventura. They require all removable volumes and full disk access permissions for Serato DJ Pro and DJ Lite to access the external drives. If you have an external drive connected to your laptop, you have to give access to Serato in your settings, and I'm going to teach you how to do it. All right, go to your Mac, go to system preferences, click on security and privacy, click on privacy on the fourth tab there, then search for files and folders, scroll down a little bit, you're going to pass the microphone, speech recognition, all that good stuff, get to files and folders. 
click on Serato DJ or Serato DJ Pro, whichever one you have. And then make sure that under Serato DJ Pro, you see the blue check mark that says removable volumes. You have to give access to Serato so they can access the removable volumes in your hard drive. The next thing you need to do, same thing. There's gonna be a folder right there. Same thing in security and privacy. Go to full disk access. There's a blue folder that says full disk access. Same thing, go to privacy, scroll down, make sure that you click on Serato DJ Pro. That little blue check mark has to be there. Once that's there, you will have access to all of your folders and all of your crates. If that doesn't work, you need to delete that whole entire hard drive and reinstall all of your music, all of your files back on that hard drive, on that SSD drive. That's why I'm telling you it's extremely, extremely important that you buy a backup and you have a backup to your backup. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you get notified every single time I make a video. If you want to check out some of my shorts, click on my channel. If you want to see my last video, click over here or here or here. I don't know where it's at, but it's somewhere over here. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Peace! Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath